Welcome class 7 for the next class of literature in English. Today we shall take up the poem Whom They Brought Her Warrior Dead by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Before we move on to the poem, let us know a little bit about the poet. Alfred Lord Tennyson was a very famous British poet. He was born on 6th August 1809 in England. He started writing poetry at the age of 8. He had a very unstable childhood and these uneven experiences brought variety in his poetry and he gave a number of famous poems to the world. He loved penning down lyrics in the Victorian age and one poem that he is famous for is home they brought her warrior dead. Let us hear the poem. Home they brought her warrior dead. She no soon nor uttered a cry. All her maidens watching said, She must weep or she will die. Then they praised him soft and low, called him worthy to be loved. Truest friend and noblest foe, yet she neither spoke nor moved. Stole a maiden from her place, lightly to the warrior's step. Cloth from the face, yet she neither moved nor wept. Rose a nurse of ninety years, set his child upon her knee. Like some tempest came her tears. Sweet my child, I live for thee. Sweet. Before we begin with the explanation of the poem stanza wise, let us imagine the family members of our soldiers who are assigned duties on the border of India. How do these family members feel or what trauma do they undergo when they receive the news about the sudden demise of their loved ones? Let us try and understand the feeling of these family members through this poem. In the first stanza, the poet says, Home they brought her warrior dead. She nor swoon nor utter a cry. All her maidens washed and said, She must weep or she will die. In this stanza, the poet describes the reaction of a woman when her dead husband, who was a warrior, was brought home. Her grief was so immense that she does not cry. She did not faint or make any noise. Her friends and maidens watched her closely. They became worried about her because she did not express herself on the death of her husband. They believed that if the lady did not grieve, the pain might eventually kill her. In order to make the lady express her feelings, the poet says, then they praised him soft and low, called him worthy to be loved, truest friend and noblest foe, yet she neither spoke nor moved. Visualizing the condition of the lady, the people around the dead soldier started praising him. They talked about his life, about the good that he did. They called him worthy to be loved and they talked about the kind of friend he was to them. They called him true and noble even to his enemy. Although the people around her grieved and recollected the memories, the wife of the dead man did not speak nor move. She remained still. No one knew what was going on in her mind. She was in a state of shock and had turned into a stone. No word and no memory brought tears to the widow's eyes. She was yet unmoved. Perhaps she was unable to accept the death of her warrior. As the lady remained unmoved, 
one of her maidens made another attempt. In this stanza, the poet says, Stole a maiden from her place, lightly to the warrior stepped, took the face cloth from the face, yet she neither moved nor wept. As the woman still refused to grieve, one of the young women present there walked up to the dead man and removed the cloth that was covering his face. She perhaps thought that his wife was unable to grieve because she still could not believe or accept that this dead man was her husband. The people around the widow desperately wanted the woman to grieve, but the lady showcased no emotions. In the last stanza, the poet says, Rose a nurse of ninety years, set his child upon her knee. Like summer tempest came her tears, Sweet my child, I live for thee. In this stanza of Home They Brought Her Warrior Dead, the poet finally reveals to the reader the reason for the widow's silence. She had been paralyzed with fear. She did not think about her own pain at losing her husband. Rather, she thought of her child. It was not until she saw the child's nurse set the child upon her knee that she burst into uncontrollable tears that came like a summer tempest. She had suppressed her pain so much that it poured out all at once like a summer thunderstorm. She cried out, Sweet my child, I live for thee. Although she was hopeless about the life ahead after her husband's death, but she wishes to make it meaningful for her child. Let us now summarize the poem. Whom they brought her warrior dead tells the story of a woman who lost her husband in battle. The poet's narration allows the reader to see the widow's reaction from a reader's perspective. The reader is therefore able to identify and experience the confusion at the widow's reaction and the same concern for her with the rest of the crowd gathered there. For the first few stanzas, the widow is seen only as a woman who has lost her husband. However, the last stanza reveals that she is not only a widow but also a mother. This insight sheds light on to her reaction, allowing the reader to understand what had been going through her mind as she realized that her husband was dead and she would have to raise the child all alone. Thank you children for listening. I hope this video gives you an insight to the lives of our soldiers who work hard day and night in order to keep us safe and sound. Have a nice day.